In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for XEF2. So to do that, the first thing we need is the Lewis structure for XEF2. So this is our Lewis structure. If you need help drawing this, there's a link in the description. You notice that the fluorines, they both have an octet. They have eight valence electrons. The central xenon has more than eight. That's okay. It is an exception to the octet rule. It can have more than eight valence electrons. We also don't really expect xenon to bond. It's a noble gas, but there are instances where it will form bonds in XEF2. That's one of those instances. So the molecular geometry, you can imagine that the two fluorine atoms, they're going to push away from each other, be as far away as they can from each other. But these lone pairs, they also push away from each other and the fluorines. So that's going to give us our molecular geometry for XEF2. It's helpful to visualize this. So the purple, that's the central XE atom. Let's put two fluorines on them, one and two. And you can see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. So we have our two fluorines. We need to remember those three lone pairs we had. So here's one. You see the shape changing as they push the fluorines away. Two and three. And that gives us the molecular geometry for XEF2. And you can see right away, there's just a line right through it. It's linear. If we hide the lone pairs, there's your linear molecular geometry for XEF2. If we wanted to look at the electron geometry, let's put the electrons back, you would end up with a trigonal bipyramidal electron geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure here. So if you couldn't visualize the molecular geometry just by looking at the Lewis structure here, you could also use something that's called the AXE notation. So A, that's the central atom, that's the xenon. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the central atom. We have one, two fluorine atoms. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs. We have one, two, three lone pairs, so E3. And you would need to either memorize that AXE3 was that linear molecular geometry, or if you're allowed, you could look this up on a table, figure out that it's a linear molecular geometry for XEF2. If we wanted to talk about bond angles, really, it's just 180 because it's linear. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for XEF2, xenon difluoride. Thanks for watching.